please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you. Hi guys, what's up? Eileen's here. Um, today I'm gonna try to cook a dinagdakan, which is an Ilocano um, delicacy. The first time we tasted this uh, dinagdakan when we went to Jacksonville in a Filipino restaurant. Me and my husband really like it. And then when I searched about dinagdakan, I learned that the main ingredient, uh, the main ingredient is a uh, pig's brain. And for me, that's already like an exotic uh, delicacy. So, I'm gonna try to make on my own version. We'll see if my husband will like it. I'm gonna use the um, mayonnaise because we don't have any pig's brain here around in our area. So, we'll see if my husband will like it, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna do it my own version. My ingredients are lemongrass, whole black peppercorn, sea salt, grass red pepper since I don't have Thai chili pepper, black ground pepper, spring onion, finely grated ginger, red onion, calamansi juice, mayonnaise rice vinegar distilled vinegar this is optional sugar non-stick cooking spray for my broiler pan and uh, pork belly in a boiling water Put the stock of lemongrass, peppercorn, and sea salt. And at the same time, put the uh, pork belly to boil with lemongrass. I really like the smell of lemongrass, the aromatic smell on my uh, meat. So I'm gonna boil them together. I let it boil for like 40 minutes or until the meat is tender now my pork belly is ready to broil using this broiler pan I spray it with non-stick cooking oil so the pork belly will not stick on it if I'm going to turn it over Then I'm going to broil this for like 550 degrees, 2 to 3 minutes each side until it's golden brown. Now I'm gonna start to make a dinakdakan sauce. Start with mayonnaise. Next is the rice vinegar. Red onion. Add also the finely grated ginger and the spring onion calamansi juice a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of sugar
ground black pepper and crushed red pepper. Mix them all together until it all blended well. And here's my dinakdakan sauce. Tastes so good. Now I'm gonna start to slice the uh, cooked pork belly into uh, small pieces, at least like a uh, half inch. And then later on, I'm gonna mix that with the dinakdakan sauce. It's really, really good. Mm. Mm. This is my first time to do this, but it's really good. And here's my delicious, savory, citrusy dinakdakan. Crunchy, huh? Yeah. Good sauce. Yep. Mmm. That is really good. I can taste the calamansi. It's not overwhelming with vinegar. It's important to get some onion though because you need some crunch. There's some over there. Yeah. It's like really a fresh one. Yay! It's really good guys. This is my first time to make this dinak dakan. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye. How is it? Oh, good. Oh, good. She's the daughter of my friend, and she's eating my dinakdakan. My dinakdakan. It's crunchy. Oh, di ba crunchy siya? They like my dinakdakan, guys. <laughs> <laughs>